Start the recording, unmute everything. All right, guys, welcome back to what is going to be the final session of the Arcadia group. Uh, not to worry, though, uh, these same fine individuals will be returning in one week's time, or sorry, two weeks time on March 3rd. And they will be on an entirely new ship, an entirely new crew. Uh, but more on that uh, as events warrant. So today's session, as I've told my players, is sort of a farewell to all of these characters that we've been playing for over one and a half years. Um, I'll say more towards the end, but uh, I'm curious to see how lots of these storylines resolve themselves, if they resolve themselves at all. Uh, but today's session is going to start somewhat open-ended, and that being, uh, I'm simply just going to jump right into it. So, where we last left off with this group, uh, your fleet, or at least the large majority of it, had been, shall we say, decimated by a Jem'Hadar engagement near the border. Uh, not, uh, not exactly something that happens every day in Starfleet, but given the Dominion War, uh, it made sort of sense. You know, you were trying to rescue a spy, the Jem'Hadar didn't want you to have the spy, etc., etc. So... We decided to do a time skip, and the time skip is approximately one year later after those events. Uh, whatever has happened to your characters during that year is entirely up to you, but the common event for all of you is that it is approximately one week after the signing of the Bajoran Treaty that ends the Dominion War. Uh, there has been celebrations across the Federation, across the Alpha and Beta Quadrants, Everyone is celebrating their victory over the Dominion. And for you guys, all of your characters have, in one way or another, found their way back to Narendra Station. And we're going to start there with a scene between Admiral Haru and Lieutenant Commander Nalan. Mm-hmm. So, uh, after we get our giggles out of the way of, of uh, Haru's amazing token... <laughs> Uh, Nalan, Best token. you've uh, been called into Admiral Haru's office, and as you come in, she kind of looks up at you, and you, you see that uh, her office seems to be in the, the state of, like, mid-pack, like she's preparing to uh, pick up her stuff and leave, if, 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 ah, if that makes any sense. Uh, but as right. you come in, uh, she says, uh, oh, uh, don't mind the boxes, uh, Lieutenant Commander, uh, please have a seat. Of course, uh... Are you leaving Narendra Station, Admiral? Well, uh, I sort of have uh, bittersweet news and good news. Uh, which would you like to hear first? Um, let's go ahead and start with the bittersweet news, since it seems it might pertain to you. Well, uh, I don't know if you know this, but I've been offered a small promotion. Uh, they want me back at Starfleet HQ. So... The good news, or at least the, the sweet part of this news, is that one of your old friends, your old captain, now Admiral, is coming in to take my place. You remember Tahan, don't you? Yes, our uh, parting wasn't exactly on the sweetest of notes, but yes. Well, he'll be having this office sometime this evening. Hmm. And the good news, Admiral... Well, to that, I simply... Hold on. Uh, she digs through a box, tries to find something, says, Ah, here it is. Uh, she slides you a small metal case, uh, maybe about the size of a pill bottle. And she says, Your surprise is inside. Hmm. And I uh, go ahead and open it. It is a fresh gold pip. And she says, Congratulations, Commander. Oh, well, thank you, Admiral. And he'll kind of, you know, take off the one black pip and attach the gold one. Yes, uh, we, uh, those of us on the station here, thought it was long overdue since your work here has been instrumental in keeping the peace. So, yeah, this this was long overdue. No, oh, thank you, um. I assume you wouldn't have any time for a quick celebration. No, unfortunately, I got to clear out of here by uh, 1,700 hours, and yeah, pretty much as soon as I'm done talking with you, I got to rush to get everything packed up. 
Oh, well, uh, in that case, I'll leave you to your work, and, uh, Admiral, uh, congratulations. Yeah. And congratulations to you, too, Commander. Uh, by the way, uh, I know you, uh, just got the pip and all, but there is some discussion about giving you your own ship, and I'm gonna let someone else closer to you give you that news, but... Let's just say you might want to start looking at potential first officers. Okay, is there a uh, is there any information as maybe a selection pool or uh, hold is on? Is that more up? She digs through her pads and ah, here it is. She hands you a pad and says, "I think you'll find uh, that list to be more than sufficient." Of course. Uh, thank you, Admiral. And if she doesn't stop him, he'll go ahead and. Uh walk out of her office and start going over those candidates. Yeah, she just bids you adieu and says it was a pleasure serving with you, and yep, you can start to look through those things. So, uh, the very last scene we have in sickbay, or at least the one I have planned anyway, uh, Bryn, uh, you are actually in, well, I spoiled the surprise already by leaving his token there, uh, but, uh, you are already in the Naringa Station sickbay. Uh, we're just going to use, uh, the one we've been using. And Jensen has come in complaining of a headache. And it just so happens that you are the only doctor on the staff at the current moment. Every other doctor and nurse has, uh, either gone off to dinner or lunch, or they have essentially sort of taken a break. So you are the only one in this entire starbase capable of treating Jensen at this current moment. And you said this is, which sickbay is this? This is the one on Narendra Station. Okay. Uh, what is it, Jensen? I I don't know, Doc. Uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling woozy. I, I'm feeling fatigued. I My head is just pounding, and you didn't shoot me again, did you? You've been giving me crap about that ever since it happened. I said I was sorry. Look, just get up on the table. All right, he gets up on the table, and as he does, but you, you shot me, doctor. What happened to do no harm? <clears throat> Weren't, weren't you supposed to get reassigned somewhere else far away from here? Preferably in some war zone or something as i'm scanning them the, the war is over doc i'm sure we could find another one just for you jensen <laughs> <laughs> um, i think i'm gonna miss our doctor the most <laughs> i know so you give him a good good scan and uh lo and behold he actually has something that dante's has guessed he has a very small tumor that is glow growing on uh, his parietal lobe oh boy well jensen i have good news and bad news the good news is that you're not imagining it I and the bad news is uh well, I mean, you do have a tumor on your frontal lobe, but the good news again is that it is treatable. I, wait, you mean it's 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 not just my my hypochondriac nature for once? No, no. Uh, I don't know if this is good news or not, but no, it's not. Uh, okay, uh, can, can can we treat it now? We certainly can. Um, you'll have to stay here for a little while for recovery. Uh, but luckily we aren't living in the dark ages, so this is something that can be taken care of. Okay, Doc, look, uh, I, I know you shot me, but I, I don't really trust anyone else but you to do it. Jensen, look, I know that to humans I'm a cynic and that I'm a curmudgeon, but I'm not a bad person, all right? I, rege I, I reject revenge and aggression and retaliation. And the foundation of that method is love. I love you, Ensign Jensen. And I walk out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he Bren, you broke him. You broke him. <laughs> Oh, oh my 
my god. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm good. We're good. All right. Oh my god. So, <laughs> on that lovely note, we're going to go to the the lounge on Narendra and uh Captain Crowley, or I guess Commander Crowley now. Uh, well, yeah. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we have you guys as characters discuss that? So uh, we're gonna have Crowley, uh, Klein, and Admiral Tahan. As soon as I find Tahan's token, uh, we'll say you have met in the Narendra Lounge, and uh, this gives you kind of a an overview of the space dock, so you guys see ships coming and going. But yeah, uh, I'm going to let you guys uh, play out the scene. And uh, I think it would be good for the viewers if you guys talked about uh, the tribunal that you guys went through uh, given the events of last session rather than me just monologuing. But yeah, uh, go ahead. Um, Out of character, do you, do you have that one token I sent you I have of Klein now? I do somewhere. The problem is, is I forgot to update it, but I'll try and get oh, that okay. in quickly. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and get started then. Okay. Uh, Crowley will come to the table and sit down and have a drink for each of them. So, no one's trying us with anything this time. I think. I'm sorry, what did up. you say? Yeah, trial. Last time we were in a room together, we all got, well, reprimanded for doing our work. I, uh, I suppose being transferred to Starbase 211 is a kind of a reprimand. It's certainly not exploring brave new worlds, but it's important work. I mean, we've all done important work in the last year. And there, well, there's something that's true. In fact, um, I actually have something I have to show the two of you. And he'll pull out a couple of data pads and slide them over to both to Han and Crowley. And let me find what I wrote up for this. Okay. Um, and it on the data pad that says here, um, effective start date 52930.5. Ensign Klein will be transferred aboard the USS Hope to serve as a medical officer under Commander Michael Beckett, the ship's CMO. During this time period, he will be dealing with medical emergencies across the Beta Quadrant, shadowing Commander Beckett, and helping him when necessary. Should he be competent enough in his time with the Hope, he will take over as the ship's chief medical officer, pending any chance that the commander should be transferred to another ship. If Ensign Klein's mental state improves during this period, his status in the tactical and security departments may be reconsidered, but until such a time comes, his transfer to the medical and science departments is deemed permanent. And you will notice that rather than the uh, security and engineering yellow, he is, as of now, uh, wearing the science and medical blue uniform. That's a big Ooh. career change. Well, one that apparently both Starfleet and honestly myself <laughs> deemed necessary, Admiral. I'm excited for you. Beckett's a good officer. I think you two will work well together. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I've heard some Good things about his service record. Well, we don't need to relitigate the past. Let's, let's let's talk about what's coming next. Well, I've been dealing with Starfleet intelligence since uh, my demotion back to commander, which you know, I always I even told you it was temporary that I was going to be a captain. So, didn't expect it to be that short of a tenure, but um. Yeah, it's been interesting working with Starfleet Intel, uh, gathering up reports and doing some running back and forth. Um, with the losses, though, that we've suffered, Starfleet and I have been talking about possibly recruiting. Um, instead of uh, 
hiring someone through the academy, we get people that already have skills in some training. And uh, Crowley will pull out a pad and hand it to the Admiral. I'm uh, we taking a ship with the captain on it, of course. We're going to be recruiting some people we've met in their Shackleton. Specifically, uh, uh, the Augments. What did what you are, say? The Augments. We're looking at uh, trying to include some of them for uh, scientific division, research division. Nothing combative. So. Mm-hmm. Be interesting. Just looking through the, the pad, doesn't say what ship it's on? No, the ship's still being decided. I see, uh, I see. Well, uh, I'd, I'd heard some rumors from the rest of the brass, apparently... This last year, you've kept your head down, you gotten work done, and you've made the right impressions, it looks like. You know, ever since that demotion, as odd as it seems, I've been fine. And, I don't know. It's interesting. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm looking forward, though, as far as I've been told, and from what you just said, I should be reobtaining the rank of captain. Um, I know that once I get them, whoever I can get, I was actually thinking of going to talk to uh, Jeffrey as well, and up to Toronto board, figure out how to uh, keep them around, so they don't have to go to subspace all the time. We have plans, but I know after this mission, I'm going to go back to the shipyards. And assist the cool with some stuff. What kind of stuff exactly, Commander? Mm. Well, the cool likes to design ships. I like flying them. And if we get a couple of people that can help us with some research designs and ideas, yeah, we might have some new batch of ships soon. Hmm. Interesting. The time I've served with, well, that I've even had the chance to talk with Lieutenant Commander Zakul, he seems like he knows what he's talking about when it comes to ships, and as you said, you know how to fly them. Should be a good partnership. And of course, if Starfleet Intel needs me for anything else, they'll uh, dispatch me as needed. But, yeah. I don't suppose you've already heard what I'll be doing? No, I haven't. Uh, I've been reading up on the locations and the individuals we'll be contacting. So I haven't had a chance to check out anyone else. Uh, well, I, I'm i standing right here. I'm taking over for Haru. Oh. Hmm. I think you'll have fun here. You know, I do like this bar. Old school. I like it. It is an old design. Nice. Simplistic. I'm glad this war is over. Think we all are. All right. And um, on that, oh, go ahead. Uh, how 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 long is it until Crowley gets his new ship? Uh, that is literally that scene we discussed is the end of the session. So spring that when you guys feel it's necessary. Um, so we will get to it shortly, maybe, or it could be later. We'll see. I mean, uh, like actual I... in-game time. Oh, in-game time. Uh, yeah. Again, that's entirely up to you. All right. Um, okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, with you guys sort of wistfully staring out the window, reflecting on your past, uh, let's do one other quick scene with Bryn. That way we get his major ones out of the way. Uh, so Bryn, you have been called to Counselor Nalan's office. You have no idea why. Okay. Ah... Uh. <laughs> Lieutenant Commander, um, I believe this is the first time we've met. Um, I'm 
Well, now recently, Commander Nalon, um, before you came on board, I served, ah, I served as the Arcadia's counselor. I don't think they ever filled that position again, believe me. They could have used one. <laughs> well, uh, my duties here are apparently a little bit more necessary than what was on the Arcadia. Um, the reason I've called you in here is because, well, just recently, Admiral Haru told me that, uh, apparently I'm looking at possibly being given command of a ship. And, uh, I was looking at the list of possible executive officers, and, well, your name came up. Uh, the ship is the USS Nightingale. It's a, uh, it's an Olympic-class vessel, and, uh, it's pretty state-of-the-art for medical technology. And it'll kind of slide, you know, a data pad over to you, giving you specs of the ship and all that kind of mess. Uh, I'm familiar with the Olympic class. They're, they're, a, it's a great vessel. And if my, if my memory serves me right, I heard something about you running to possibly learn about taking command of a vessel. Yes. Yes, I would. Well, uh, I would like to combine the two, um, you know, to command some sort of medical vessel. That way I can uh, still practice medicine and, uh, you know, travel the quadrant and help people wherever I can. And it seems like this vessel uh, might be perfect for you, Lieutenant Commander. I uh, think looking at your service record, I've think and the service records of others, I uh, think I've come to my decision pending anything else happening and well uh it'd be an honor for me to call you my executive officer if you would like the position for it's very rare for me to say this commander but i don't know what to say i'm at a loss for work thank you <laughs> well it's my pleasure and uh this is going to be a little bit different for you uh a decent portion of the ship's crew is actually going to be uh, Klingons, if you can get along with them. You counsel, as, you counsel as many as I have, and... Oh, heard enough about honor and bloodline to last me several lifetimes. Is it too late for me to refuse the position? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I was attempting a joke. I'm not very good at no, them. It, as I've also heard you say, you're not good with the words, but you're a hell of a doctor. Correct? That, that is true. Huh. Well, in that case, I'm sure you'll get along with me and the crew just fine. Uh, Lieutenant Commander, it's an honor. And he'll reach his hand out for a handshake. I kind of uncomfortably shake his hand. <laughs> It'll be an honor to serve with you. And you, Commander. And it is at All that of... point uh, that, uh, Bryn, you get a uh, comm signal. And it's one of the nurses uh, in sickbay. And she says, uh, this is uh, the nurse to uh, Lieutenant Commander Bryn. Are you there, Bryn? I'm here. Go ahead. Your patient has recovered. He's awake, moving about. Uh, it's kind of awkward, sir. He's talking about Tellarite human mating rituals i think he completely misunderstood what i told him uh great okay um, i'll be who is this patient of yours he he's a problem patient um he he's he's been he he has problems with uh imagining symptoms uh but this time he wasn't imagining it and he's come down with uh I say he's come down as if it's some sort of virus, but he actually had a tumor and we had to operate. Uh, but he should be recovering, but yeah, I, I don't think he's in his right mind. <laughs> oh. He's clearly imagining other things now. I'd I, like, I best go down there and clear things up. 
of, of course. Um, in that case, go go do your work, Lieutenant Commander. It's uh, it's going to be an honor working with you, and good luck with your patient. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh-huh. And Brent's going to just immediately just scuttle out. Gotcha. And not to leave out our uh, flyboy and our engineer, uh, we cut back to the lounge where the two of you, both Janice and Dante's, uh, you guys have found a table a little bit ways away from uh, the trio in the corner. And yeah, I thought I'd give you guys the opportunity to wax poetic. Wax poetic. So it's been a year later, huh? It's been a year later, yeah. Okay. So, uh, what are you going to do now, Chief? Oh, uh, the same thing I do every night. No, I'm just... <laughs> uh, you know, there's always ships that need repair. <laughs> you know, I kept beating up the Admiral's door over and over and over again, trying to find me a new, another ship. And for some reason, she just kept saying, no, sorry, we're waiting for your ship to get done. I, was, I, I don't know why. What, I don't know why she didn't let me go fly another ship. It must have been that admiral. He must have said something to make sure I didn't get another ship. I don't. I don't know. Uh, can Klein hear this? Uh, possibly. Uh, why don't you roll if... me a uh, insight and uh, let's say con difficulty Alrighty. two? <laughs> because why not? Because <laughs> why not? Very far from Vulcaneers. <laughs> Tell you what, if you want to try an eavesdrop on these two, you can uh, roll an insight con. I'm probably not going to get anything, but we'll see. Nope. You hear nothing, nope. Klein. Okay. Are you rolling too, Crowley? Oh, no. Okay. Crowley's enjoying <laughs> his alcohol. Carry on, Janice. <laughs> <sighs> I tried to get on the the list of for XOs, but I, I didn't hear anything back from the admiral. So I guess I'll just uh, wait till somebody needs a pilot. I'd imagine now that things have settled down, they'll they'll be able to relook at your service record and find you something. Yeah, I guess I'll go back to piloting little shuttles or something. At least I can be by myself. You know, I can turn down the temperature real good. Nice, cool, twenty degrees in the in the shuttle, so I can just kind of be by myself. Oh well, my my term as as second officer was very short. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I. You know, we've been building so many ships and repairing ships. I, you know, there's there's gonna be plenty, plenty out there for you. Yeah, I mean, it's been a couple of years. I should go back to my wife, I guess. But man, I'd rather fly a ship. Sorry, you have a wife, and you've been stationed here for a year, and she hasn't come to join you? Nope, nope. I mean, not that, not that anybody else knew this, but now you do. Because, you know, oh, Janice, turn left. Oh, Janice, turn right. Nobody says, Janice, how do you feel today? You know... Damn. I mean, sometimes that can be nice. (laughs) (laughs) Too too many people trying to get up in your business. Some isolation is sometimes preferable. Mm, Yeah. Until they start cranking up the temperature on the bridge, and then it's just annoying. Damn Crowley. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, we could have rigged some cooling pads for your chair. Yeah, you you do know? Did, did I tell you? I stole the ship off the Arcadia when it or I stole the uh, the captain's chair off the Arcadia when it was getting fixed. We were looking for that, but apparently it had a bunch of defects. Um, no, 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 it was some it, misaligned. It, nah, no, nah, it was perfect for me. But you know, guess I won't I won't be sitting in that chair. Oh well. It'll make a good recliner. I was going to say, it sounds like you are sitting in that chair. Yeah, it'll make a good recliner someday. 
Yeah, I'll send it home to the wife and kids. They spill something out, though. I'll be upset. <laughs> oh, well. And it I wonder what the Admiral's doing. Yeah, and it is at that <laughs> point that we cut across the room to resume the conversation between the trio. Um, I'll say at this point the conversation continued, but, uh, Admiral Tahan, you'll get a little beep on your communicator. Uh, uh, Commander Nalanda, Admiral Tahan? Receiving. Um, I don't mean to interrupt any conversations you might be having, but, uh, whenever you get the chance, I'd like to speak with you. Um... I'll look over at Commander Crowley and Klein. Um, just kind of wondering if they keep wanted to keep talking. Uh, Klein will just kind of give you like a no like a nod, like if you have to go, you have to go. Crowley's is going to grab your drink if you haven't touched it. And starts taking it. Like, you take it? No. Well, um, congratulations, uh, the both of you. Um, I forgot to mention while we were sitting here, the Arcadia A is going to be off the line soon, but, uh, couldn't keep her to keep the name. Brass had other plans. Well, uh, I'll say this. Just, just one last reminisce, one last toast. It's, uh, something of a new superstition these days. Ships named Arcadia get hit hard, but they never stay down. It was good serving with all of you. And you, Admiral. It was a pleasure. By the way, before you take off, Admiral, in two months' time, I'm going to need you to officiate something for me. I'm just, I'm just wondering real hard. Okay. Anything for a friend. And then I'll just Clark. go away. It better not be a Betazoid wedding. <laughs> oh. And on the subject of Betazoid weddings, we have sort of a pseudo scene where Bryn is explaining to a very confused uh, Jensen that, uh, no, he was not hitting on Jensen. <laughs> That's absolutely <laughs> correct. Uh, but yeah, with that pseudo scene noted for the record, we cut to Nalan's office. And, uh, Admiral, you step on inside. Admiral, it's been, what, a few years, to say the least? Uh, yes, it has. Uh, and I look, are you wearing your new pips yet? I am, and you will notice that he has transitioned from, at one point, to, from the science and medical blue to command red. I see you've already received the news. Congratulations. Yes, um... Was it you that put in a recommendation? I honestly didn't need to, but when they asked me, of course I said yes. You deserve it. You're one of the best officers I've ever had. And I hear... Um, I actually owe you... a huge thanks. I'm taking over for Haru, and... This station would not be in such good shape if it hadn't been for you. Oh, it's a lot of work. Uh, have a few gray hairs now, and um, while I was doing some other work, and he'll hold up one of his hands, and you'll see that there's a ring on one of his fingers. Oh, congratulations. Yes, um, met a human doctor while I was on. A brief away mission, and I hate to use such an archaic phrase, but um, appears it was love at first sight for the both of us. Have you told any of the old Arcadia crew? No, but I plan to, should we all get together in one place. Okay. Um... <laughs> I'm really excited for you. I I hope uh, I hope that's going to be great. 
I'm hoping so, and it appears um, your chief medical officer will be serving as my executive officer on board the Nightingale, if you haven't heard already. Um, uh, yes, I've actually uh, I've signed off on a couple of a um, few other members of my old crews that will be going with him as well. If you like, I can provide you with that information. Um, I would, yes. Okay. I'll hand you a pad. It's got about eight or so names on it. Um, and the last one on the list is one Ensign Jensen. But uh, I don't point it out. <laughs> He'll, as, soon, as soon as he sees it, I'm just like... Oh, he was telling me about him. Does he really have to be on our ship? Would you believe him up? Me if I told you he's the only ship he could be on and still be productive? Uh, I guess I'll have to take your word on it. Wait, Good. wait, wait, hold on. Just so I understand, you're putting Jensen on the same ship as Bryn again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is his curse. He must live with it. <laughs> I, I just oh, wanted man. to be clear. Oh, dear. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. What department you... is Jensen in? Uh technically he's the transporter chief. He he does good work. Yeah, there was a there was a occupancy in that position on the Nightingale and there's no one better. Um out of character, any other names I recognize or just Brennan Jensen? That is entirely up to you. Yeah, nobody ship us as Brinson, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too late. Well, now that it's too said late. It. It's, it's too catchy, yeah. Oh, no. It's on the internet forever. <laughs> um, I don't think I have anyone else. Oh, um, our, our Goran friend is also going. Torn the Gorn, eh? Hey. Yeah. All right. Huh. Haven't worked with a Gorn before, but I'll make it work, considering that appears about maybe a third of my crew is going to be Klingons. Um. Now, when we last parted, it wasn't exactly on the best of terms. Uh, no, it was not. That was an unfortunate mistake, but I think I've made myself clear on how I feel about that. Yes, um, I've received some messages about how I was sorely missed on the Arcadia. I wanted to get back out there about as soon as the war started, but of course my work here was a little bit important. Um. Uh, I'm quite fr frankly, I'm lost for words as we that was the last words we said to each other for about a few years and The fact that you'll be on this station now where I served for so long, um... Uh, I, I don't want it to be bitter between us. So... Uh... I wish I could have been off on a better note, but it's good to see you again. I wholeheartedly agree. Um... So tell me, do you know where you're going first? Um, not quite yet, but um, I'm sure I'll receive orders about that at some point. It may involve some work with a certain ensign now that he's aboard my ship, but I'm not sure if I should deal him or let my new XO be the one who works with him. We cut transition uh, quickly to nope. sick bay where Jensen says, "Doctor, yeah. Doctor Bryn, I have good news." What? What is it, Jensen? We're gonna be on the same ship again. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> and we cut back to Nalan and Todd. <laughs> no, we, we cut to Crowley in the in the lounge like, oh, what was that? <laughs> He's just looking around. He's like, I sense a disturbance. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wish I could have been on a ship with you one last time, commit uh yeah. Admiral, but uh appears with me taking command of a ship of my own. Um, that might not be possible, unless I end up being in your fleet by some small chance, but due to your recent tribunal, I'm not sure how that'll turn out. So let me interject real quick. Um, Tahan, I think this is actually a very perfect moment to gather all of the Arcadia crew together for your surprise. Okay. Um, well, before you write me off too soon, I was able to pull a couple strings. Uh, I think you should come. And where exactly were, will we be going? Well, it's time to christen a new old ship. Hmm. Well, in that case, I'll meet with you when it's possible. Well, as an admiral, I'm saying it's possible. Let's go. Of course. <laughs> uh, and then I will um, tap my com badge to whoever my adjutant is and mm -hmm. tell them to summon everyone uh, I've requested um, in the, let's say, does this have a big wet dock like um, or a dr big dry dock? Um, it does. Okay. Yeah, I'll, well, let's meet them in the... Uh, uh, dry Dock 2. Alright. So, uh, we're just gonna theater of the mind this one. But everyone, uh, everyone meets. Uh, even Bryn comes along. Dante's comes along. Janice, you come along. Uh, okay. Nalan, you're there. Just every single one of your characters that was either related to the Arcadia or served on the Arcadia, everyone is present. And, uh, Tahan, we've discussed how this scene goes, so take it away. Taking it away. All right. Hold on. There wasn't a script, right? No, just... just some basic bullet points. Okay. And... Do, 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 do. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Uh... As of this star date, Starfleet Command requires and commands Captain Crowley to take command of the USS Arcadia. No A, no B, no C. And then the dry dock door is going to open up and a newly refitted Nova class vessel pulls in. Captain, and I'll hold out a uh, shiny fourth pip. She's yours. Well, this is going to complicate the command structure a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. I'll put the pip on and shake your hand. Ah. So who's my staff? Who do you think? Be interesting. Get a new crew. Any one of the old crews more than welcome to come aboard. And uh, I'll just lean over uh, just quietly enough for you to hear. This time, I think you might want to take my recommendation and hire Janice. <laughs> Oh, I was already thinking that. <laughs> Excellent. I'll kind of pat you on the back. Um, what 
when I when I heard we couldn't get the Arcadia uh, A to be to keep her name, I knew I had a feeling that this is what they had in plan. She's a great ship, but you already know that. We had some good adventures on this ship. Looking and you're going to have many more. Look forward to it. And it is at that point that uh, Captain Crowley, uh, you get a communication from Ops. So Ops to Captain Crowley. Crowley here. Uh, this is uh, Adjunct Jim. Uh, sorry to interrupt your ceremony, sir, but we need the Arcadia. Are you ready to fly out? I guess so. Very good. And our final scene is going to be uh, those among you uh, transferring to the Arcadia. And the final shot is the Arcadia turning away from Starbase and warping away. So I know uh, we, uh, you know, it's a shorter session, but uh, I think that's a good way to wrap up all our main characters. And before I cut the stream, I just want to say a few words. Um, I said this when Ophion ended. Um, Star Trek Adventures saved me as a, as a game master. I would not be sitting here today if it was not for... Uh, Modifius releasing Star Trek Adventures, I would more than likely be actually a very bitter and angry person. I will fully admit that. I was not in a good place when I finally came across Star Trek Adventures. Um, so this game has saved me in more ways than one. Um, so I want to thank you all especially. Uh, you guys as players have been an absolute treat, uh, and I look forward to playing with you in the future. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is a satisfying conclusion, uh, leaves just enough mystery that people can make up their own stories, but yeah, uh, this is where we're going to end the stream, uh, stream, these guys will be back on March 3rd, two Sundays from now, on the USS Avenger, a NX class vessel, so an entirely different era, entirely different ship, uh, but stream, uh, for anyone who is watching currently or on YouTube, thank you so much for following the adventures of these guys. And this is where we say goodbye. Later. <laughs>